Welcome to the Excel tutorial series for scientists. This is going to be the first video in the series and today we're going to be walking through how to import your data into Excel. So we're going to talk through two different types, one which is a comma separated values or CSV file and the second one we're going to talk about is a text file. Before we jump into it, I do want to let you know that you can actually download my Excel cheat sheet. It's going to have a lot of the formulas and things like that that I use within this series but in an easy PDF that you can easily reference as you're going through doing your own data analysis within Excel. You can get that for free using the link in the description below. If you want to follow along and use my same exact files that I'm using today, you can get them by going into the link in the description below and you're easily going to be able to download them from my website so that you can use them at home. I want to show you how to easily import these in even if they're formatted a little weird and stuff like that. So we're going to import in four different files. So here you can see the four files we're going to import in. And so the first one we're going to do is a comma separated values or a CSV file. We're going to do this one first because it's usually the simplest to do. And then I'm going to show you how to import these three different text files in. So to import in a comma separated values file uh, into Excel, you can actually just go to it and double click. This will usually just open it up in Excel automatically. Um, if you don't have Excel as your default for CSV, you can always come in here and right click and go to open with and then click Excel. And so that is the way to upload it into Excel. So here we can see our file and this is just um, countries, uh, country code, the year, the working hours per year uh, per person, uh, population and their GDP. So if we want to see this a little bit better because you can see some of these columns are cut off, we can come up here, click all of it, and then we're just going to adjust the column. So now you can see that adjust all of our columns so we can see all of these uh, column names up here. So that's really simple how to import in a CSV. The important thing to know is that in this, this is a CSV file. It's not an Excel file. So if you want to convert it into an Excel file, you're going to need to go to File and then Save As and switch this to Excel. Now, if we hit Save, it's going to save it in the same place. So if we come in here, we can now see that we have one that's a Microsoft Excel CSV file and we have one that's a Microsoft Excel worksheet. So now if you have graphs or formulas or stuff like that, this is going to be the better one to save all of that information, whereas CSV is not going to be able to save that kind of information. So that's how we open up a simple CSV file. So now I want to walk you through opening up text files because those can be a little bit more tricky. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to open up this text file with Notepad. And this is just going to be able to show you what's in the file. So you can see in this file, we have everything is separated out by tabs. They're pretty nice and neat in their columns. You can see that these aren't always in their columns, um, in specific columns but they're still separated by a tab instead of just a space or a dash or anything like that. When it's already in this format where it's tab separated and everything is already neatly tab separated, we can actually really simply import this file in. So I'm gonna close it out. So what we're gonna do with this file is we're going to go, once we have an Excel open, we're going to go to file and then open. And then now we can click in here. So we're going to do this import text one. And it's going to automatically bring up this text import wizard. So our stuff is delimited, which means it's separated by something specific. And so ours is specifically tab separated. So we're going to click delimited. We're going to hit next. And this automatically refers to tab because most text documents are going to be tab separated documents. So we have tab clicked and now we can look into this data preview and we see that it's actually separating out country, code, year, 
male prevalence and female prevalence. So we can go to next and then finish. And this is going to open this up now as a document similar to the last one. So I'm just gonna expand it out so we can see it a little bit more clearer. And we can see now all of these things are in its proper rows. And as we come down here, we see that it stays the same. And so an important thing here to note is that if you had countries that have two names, so let's do a search for South Korea. So even if you have countries that have two um, words as their name, they still appear in the same column um, because there's only a space between South and Korea, and then there's a tab between Korea and its code. So that's how that works um, if you just have a tab delimited file. Now, unfortunately, all of your data might not come as specifically tab delimited, so tab separated. So they may come with different types of delimiters in there. So I'm gonna show you two different files for how to deal with that. So I'm gonna exit out of this. And again, this is still a TXT file. Excel is just showing it. So if we wanted to save this as a Excel file, so we don't have to go through and redo that, we would need to come in here and save this as an Excel workbook. But I'm not going to save it for this. And so the next thing we're gonna do is bring in this one, but I wanna show you what this looks like as a notepad. Okay, so here is the notepad file. So you can see that these three are separated by spaces. There's only a space in between there. Then there's a tab, and then these are separated by dashes. So you can see here's the work hours, dash, here's the population, dash, here's the GDP. So we now wanna bring this in that's now much more complicated. So we're gonna do the same initial step. We're gonna to go to File, Open, and then we are going to um, go to my actual thing. So let's look at this. So now you can see when we go in here, this is the same file or the same folder, but we want to, if this is set now to all Excel files, so it's not gonna show us our tab files. So you're gonna go down and you can actually specifically go to just text files and you're gonna see the CSV and the three text files I have in there, or you can just go to all files. So now you can see the Excel and all of those. So now we're gonna import this one in, I'm gonna hit open. So this is again still delimited, so it's not fixed width. And the reason why we don't want it to be fixed width is if I go to the next one, we now have to set these widths. So if we're trying to set it there, well not all of them actually fit there. Some of them have decimal places, some of them don't. So if you're just trying to do a fixed width, you need to make sure that everything is in the same area. So that might work for some of these, but if you can see these countries, it's going to create that break between United ST. And so eights is gonna be its own column and it's not gonna be readable. So we want to choose delimited and we're gonna hit next. So now, because we only have tab selected, it's only going to find that break between the country code year and then all the data we have. It's not gonna break up any of these into its own separate columns. So if we hit space, this is gonna break these up into different columns, but it's not going to break these over here into their different columns. So what we wanna do is hit other, and what we're going to input is a dash. So now it's going to break these up into their own columns as well, because it now knows that that's a delimiter between columns as well. So we're going to hit next, and we're going to hit finish. So now we have our country code year and the same thing that we had in the CSV file we had earlier. Now, if we search for United States, it's not gonna be able to find it, even though we just saw it before. And that's because the United is now separated from the states. And that's because we had a tab delimited file. What you can do is actually run a formula to figure out if this file has something more than three letters, because all the codes were three letters long. And if it does, you'll combine these. And I'll show you how to do that in a um, couple series after this. 
but you can see that these are not actually put together. And so I wanna show you one final way to import something that will actually keep them together. So I'm gonna exit this. Again, I haven't actually created this as an Excel file, so it's still the same as it was before. We wanna open up this final one and I wanna show you what this looks like as a notepad so I can show you what you're going to actually be seeing. Okay, so in here, what you're actually seeing is that now the countries are in quotations. So what this is going to do is we're actually going to tell Excel that if something's in quotation, it's, it needs to stay the same, even if there's a delimiter within it. And so I'm gonna show you how we're gonna do that in a second, but to be able to export this in seamlessly into Excel, you will need to create these quotations around things that have delimiters within them that you don't want broken out. And so that's something that's worth considering doing and to be able to import it into Excel more easily. So as we've done before, we're going to go to File, Open, and now I'm gonna go back into this PC and it's not showing anything again. When I have all files, I'm going to click this and we're going to click open. So now this is still delimited because it has it's delimited by spaces and dashes as before. So when we come in here, again, it's only recognizing that split between the two. So if we add in a space, it's going to separate out these as it did before. And if we add a dash, it's gonna separate out these. But we know at the bottom of this list is United States. And right now, United States is a single column, which is what we want it to be. And the reason it is, is because of this. This text qualifier is saying that these double quote is signifying that that's just text. And anything within that should not be treated as delimiters. If we hit none, you're going to see that now it doesn't take those quotations away and it's going to separate out United and States. So this is what's actually allowing us to bring that in as a single thing, even though there is a space between these. So then if we click next, this is um, good and we're going to click finish. And there we go. Now we, even though we had the same thing as before, can now see that our United States is a single column because of those quotations earlier. So that's kind of how to bring in two main text files, including if there's a bunch of different delimiters between the columns and things so that you can actually start working with this data in Excel. So that's what I wanted to cover in this video. Um, this again is the first one in my entire Excel tutorial series that's going to be coming out over the next few weeks. And next week, we're going to talk about how to format and clean data so that it's easier for you to use to be able to quickly start doing your data analysis. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next one.